Carcass with Black Star, CBT guitar lesson for Alan. Man, you threw in some heavy ones this month. Um, and I never, I've heard of Carcass. I've never really sat and listened to them, and they're brutal heavy, man. Like some good, good um, grooves in the in the stuff. So um, tuning is C standard, so it's pretty low. It's a uh, quadruple flat, right? Top note being your C and your high E being a C. So uh, let's jump in. Uh, we got section one A zero seconds in. This is the the main riff. Um, okay, you're gonna go two A. Um, you can use that second or third finger, kind of like in the third. You slide to seven. You're gonna palm mute all this, and. You can alternate pick or downstroke. If you downstroke, it's choppy. I don't know if it's too choppy though. Um, but experiment with your picking. You're sliding up there. Um, we have seven six five. This is all palm muted. Seven six open on the E, and then three E five A slide to five seven, and then open two E and A. So in standard tuning, that's G power chord, slide to A to an E power chord. Does that twice. They even want to hit that power chord with a different finger, you know? We have, throws me off though, see? And then do it again, no slide up though. And the only difference is the G slides to a A sharp, so 3 5 to 6 8, back to 3 5. Down mute, top two strings, upstroke on 6 8 E A, and then 5 7 rest. And then section 1 B, 10 seconds in, it's right back to the, uh, it's almost exactly the first part of section 1A. It's the, uh, it'll slide up to six on these ones though. So. It's interesting because when you hit the E5, it'll hit one open E palm mute and goes right back into it, so. Okay, so that's two times, and then do it again with the G sliding to the A sharp at the end. So you'll go stop on the G and then hit it again. So then he finishes off with mute the open E twice. I'd probably alternate pick this as well, but you could go. But I like 3 5 to 6 8. And then 5 7, you do your rest. So you have this. And then end it with that. Okay, and that comes in at 29 seconds in. Leading into, I believe the verse, section 1C, 30 seconds in. Love this part too, it's... So. so, open to EA, and then another quick hit to 2A, slide to 5. Let it ring, 4D, 5G, 4D. So you have. So. Two hits, rest, one hit. On the E5. Then, on the E5, palm mute, down, down, up. It's, strings are so loose, and these are, uh, 12 gauge strings too. Um, that's a cool little groove too, and that's twice, so you go back. Then 
doing 3 5 E A at 39 seconds. Then 3 E to 5 A, slide to 8. And then you'll go from the 8, leave it down, 7 D, 8 G, 7 D. Just modulated the riff. So back to the G chord twice. And then uh, hit the chord one more time. Into the... This one goes... This one's different. You'll slide up, 7, 6, 5, and then on the low E, 7, 5, 7. And then 3, 3, no palm mute. So... so. That's that part. Um, 44 seconds in, open 2 EA, rest, and then open. Then you do section 1B again, which was, uh, was this. You go through all of that two times, then section 1C. Section 2A, a minute 15 in. This is the part I intro with. It's Open 2, E, A, and then down up, palm mute, open E. As you're doing that open E, get ready to move the hand up to 7, A, 9, D, slide to 5, 7. So we have... On the low E string, 5, hammer 6, 7, so it's a double hammer. And then three, four, five, double hammer. And then pick the three. So you have. And then the first part again. And then the uh, second riff is different. One A, hammer two, open D. Open A, hammer one, pull open. To three E, so it's. Yeah, and those are back and forth. That's that whole section. So, you do that four times, okay? Then you hit repeats. Then we got section 2B. This is 224 in on the song. He just doubles the... Uh, Um, and then this little filler, which he throws in on a lot of them. But, instead of a G power chord, it's just a third fret, slide to six. Then you do the E power chord, so. Now, that's in parentheses because um, it's also, because there's two guitars, section 2C at 226 comes in with a different rhythm. It's... That's um, 226 in, and that sounds like this. So it's, it's a cool part. So slow, it's open to EA, open E, palm mute twice, I would probably down up that, but you, once again, you can do two quick downs, or 5, 7, AD twice, slide to 7, 9, vibrato. So, 
open E palm mute twice, and then 10, 12 AD, slide the 10 to 9, keep the 12 D ringing so it sounds like this. And then open E down up palm mute. If it helps, Alan, make subgroup just that. Same thing here. Um, which would be. No, they're all the same ending, so. Do that three times. Then, uh. Two E, slide to three, and then palm mute it two times. We're going to follow that concept, but go three, slide to five. Five, slide to eight. Eight, slide to ten. So that whole tail end after those three times through is... Um, that's that part. Um, section 3A, 235 in. I love this part. It sounds like... Uh, Maiden or Striper goes. It's kind of like the last section with single notes. Down, 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 open E, palm muted. Five on the A, twice, hammer to seven. Let's see. Five, hammer seven, and then seven vibrato. Open E, palm mute twice. Ten, pull nine on the A. And then palm mute the 9A twice. Do that three times. Then this little thing again. Um, that whole thing goes twice. That comes in at 235, which is right here. Matter of fact, it's it's actually five five hammer seven vibrato. My bad. It's awesome. Um, solo. It's not real long. It's cool though. Two fifty two. You'll go. Eleven G hammer twelve pull eleven fourteen D fourteen G pull twelve fourteen slide sixteen so that's two subgroups in one you have and then connect them okay top of page four fourteen E seventeen pull fifteen B and then seventeen. So 14E, 17B, pull 15. 15, pick, hold, bend, release, pull up to 15. I'll probably zoom in at this point. So you have... Then back to this. But the ending's different. Different. 11, 12, 11, hammer pull on, on the G, 14 D, and then 11, hammer 12, twice on the G. So it's 17 E, slide to 15, and then 14 on the E, half step bend release, 15 B. So it's... Those who use the middle might even be easier. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, we're good. We're good there. And then, um, half step. That's what I need notated. Next little riff, back to this 11, 12, 11 on the G, like the very beginning of the solo. But he slides it off. Then you'll hear this real quick 9G, slide to 16, back to 9. Not a huge deal, but it's in there. And then he does this octave melody. 10A, muted D, 12G, down, up, down, slide to 12, 14. Once you get there, go down, up, down, slide back to 10, 12. Do that twice. Sounds like this. Slow. Up this tempo. It's cool. And then finish it off with down up. So it's three minutes in, 15B, you're gonna bend um, two times. And then pinch harmonic bend release. And then go 12B to 14G, 15B bend release. So it's, so it's. And then, this one's really cool too. Um.